Hello, my name is Madison Page Aneski, and this is my research on ballet dance in competition studios. My initial theories in this research was I did not think the students were going to enjoy ballet class. I did not think that they would take ballet seriously, and I did not think most of them would want to continue their ballet studies and in turn continue their dance studies. After watching at least three of their classes, my opinion and my theory on this research really didn't change at all. Now this is before I spoke to the students individually and really got the insight about how they feel about ballet class, but from an outsider's looking in perspective, the dancers did not show really any interest in ballet class and all presented like they were being forced. Groans before starting class, while in class, they didn't show up in ballet attire, there wasn't this like overall love for ballet like they're so ready to, to go into ballet class it was kind of just like oh i have to do this class now which was very disappointing to see at first but understanding that these dancers were taking a multitude of classes that night so it could have just been this isn't their favorite teacher of the night or this isn't their favorite class of the night but still ballet was very visibly at least in this specific class not their interest. Don't just take my word for that. I'm going to let you hear a few of the students' personal opinions about ballet, and you can kind of see that some of them really enjoy it and some of them really don't enjoy it. Um, but this is only five out of the 15 dancers. The other 10 did not want to record it, so I'll tell you their data after the fact. My name is Lauren Salucci. Mackenzie Wallace. What is your preferred style of dance? Contemporary. Do you prefer to take ballet? Yeah. Um, is ballet your favorite style? No. What is your favorite style to take? Probably contemporary. Yes. Would that be your preferred style or would you choose it over a different? My preferred style is contemporary or modern. Okay. Do you enjoy taking ballet class? Sometimes. Do you prefer taking ballet or is there a style that you prefer more? There's a style I prefer more. What style? Like contemporary. Do you prefer to take ballet? Yeah, I like it. Is that your favorite style? No. No? What is your favorite style? Probably jazz or something. Do you plan to continue your dance studies? Yeah. Um, what is your goal? Choreographer, professional dancer. Yes. What is your plan? Uh, my plan is to continue at another dance school. I'll be maybe. Have an uh, Like, do you want to go to college for dance, or do you want to just go straight into a company? College. Do you plan to continue your dance studies? Uh, probably not. <laughs> uh, do you plan to continue your dance studies outside of the studio, like probably college? Probably not. So now let me tell you about the data between all 15 students in the class. Now because only 5 of them wanted to be recorded, I still wanted to get the opinion of all 15. So out of the 15, 11 of them do not plan to continue their dance studies at all. They plan to just cut off dancing when they graduate high school and then be completely done with it. The next 4 plan to continue their dance studies, but only 2 of them plan to continue ballet at all in their studies. The other two do not plan to continue ballet. They want to see things like modern or hip hop. They have no interest in studying ballet, which is very interesting data in my opinion. One of the biggest things I noticed during my research at this competition studio was that the students didn't follow typical ballet attire. So most of them wore leggings, sweatpants, t-shirts, there was only one student that would consistently wear a bodysuit, and that's because that was her school's dress code for the dance majors, so she was literally wearing her school uniform. 
that student was Azaria, and she is one of the, the few students in this class that actually wants to continue her ballet studies. Another thing I want to look at is their footwear. None of them ever wore point shoes or ballet shoes in this advanced ballet class, and this was very surprising to me. I also took a look at the younger age group, and nearly all of those students were in ballet shoes, and nearly all of those students were in proper ballet attire. So my curiosity is why that happened, and I got a little bit of clarity from the studio owner. These students have five classes this night, compared to the younger students who only have two, so it could just be the reason that they have a multitude of classes, but I'm not fully sure where that disconnect happened. Just one more thing I want to point out is that none of them wear their hair in classic ballet buns. Most of them wear their hair either in ponytails, in messy buns, or plain just down in front of them, which now looking back at the data doesn't really surprise me, but it's surprising in the moment. One point that kind of segued into my project without me intentionally doing it was the idea of unrealistic expectations of a dancer. Now these dancers are some of the most talented people I've ever met. They can do five pirouettes like it's no problem. They can jump higher than most people I've ever seen. Their acrobatic abilities are astronomical. Every single one of them has an aerial. Every single one of them has a back handspring. Like these are extreme, extremely talented students. But something I was curious about is that if these unrealistic expectations are affecting them mentally and physically. So I opened the door in the conversation with the 15. And every single one of them has reported some issue with their body. Whether they feel like because they're slightly too big that they can't do more turns or that their size is affecting them in acrobatic skills. And every single one of these girls are a medium to small. Like they are small petite dancers, but they all have this unrealistic expectation of what their body should look like and how that affects them as a dancer. And it's really disheartening to hear that dancers at such a young age fear that pressure. But in the research I did, this was true for ballet dancers that are dancing pre-professionally, professionally, dancers that were just dancing for fun. They all feel that pressure of my size really does affect my ability level. But it's not true. I read an article that was written 10 years ago about how dancers you know, feel this unrealistic expectation and feel that they can never be small enough or they can never do enough turns or they can never have enough abilities. And in 10 years, it has not changed. And I wanna know what in the dance world we could change to make it possible. So I'm gonna throw that question out to you all and wonder what could we change expectationally or what could we change in our teaching pedagogies that would allow dancers not to feel this constant weight of being skinnier or being better or needing to do more how can we change it to being satisfied with the work that they've produced because i feel like this is a bigger question than just a small research project a quick little synopsis of what we learned my first theory was not fully true. These, most of these dancers do enjoy taking ballet class. My second theory was more true, that they don't take ballet seriously. They don't show up in proper ballet attire. They don't do their hair correctly. They don't even show up in the shoes to wear in an advanced ballet class. And my third theory was also proven right, that they don't, most of them do not want to continue their ballet studies. And in fact, most of them don't even want to continue their dance studies. So I'm curious what that implication has in the competition world, and I kind of want to dive more into that next time. I also learned through this research that it evolved into a bigger question of unrealistic expectations of what dancers are and who they are and what they should look like, and that's leading me into more queries about the dance world and about how this is affecting dancers' mental health. That is my whole project. If you have any questions, you're welcome to ask them now in class, or if you're not in my class, you can leave questions down below. See?